Hi everyone. So during Christmas time, I did pick up from pharmacy one of their gift sets um, that I'm going to get around to using. So this is their gentle cleanser where I got 100 milliliters. I also did get their uh, honey grail and that's their facial oil. And then the product that I really love is their honeymoon glow. And this is their AHA resurfacing cream and I find this really works nice so I wanted I was able to try this with my BoxyCharm woo um and then wanted a spare like I'm not even that low in it like maybe about like to here but I'm like I need a backup um and just like Christmas time has some really good gift sets so always look up gift sets of like some of those skincare skincare products that you like so that when they go on sale you can get them uh, just going through quickly to make sure eh, it does have some lavender oil so I'm really going to be careful about using it around my eyes because I still have my eyelash extensions that I'm now in love with but I am hardcore missing oil cleansing um, and that, but normally I will kind of double cleanse with an oil cleanser, trying to keep away oil as much as I can from my eyes. Mm, it does have like a slight honey smell and kind of like a medicinal smell with it. Um, and that I've got some on my nose, um, but I'm avoiding kind of doing that double cleanse and cleansing with oil to try and keep my eyelashes for a little bit longer. Um, but I do feel like a cleanser should still work good without that. Um, if I have to rely on like an oil cleanser, then what is this really doing? The only exception, maybe with like a liquid lip that's really tough to get off or waterproof would I expect to need an oil to get things off. So I'm just gonna wet my face and come on back and I'm just gonna rub that product. I'm gonna go around the outside of my face. And I'm just gonna wash it all off. This is the job it did um, first kind of taking off. So I do have some product in my water line. So uh, not great for taking off a liquid lip. So I am just gonna kind of go in with my beauty oil, but like I wouldn't kind of expect it to. So looking like a kid who got uh, stole my mother's lipstick or Ronald McDonald, I'm going to go back in with my cleanser and take everything off. Uh, using the oil and then wiping off, not bad. <sighs> For your eyes, if you're using black eyeliner, like a lot of mascara, I probably wouldn't recommend. Um the cleanser just because I feel um, like I probably did it three or four times around my eyes just trying to get everything up like I am keeping them closed and I'm maybe not going as harsh but I shouldn't have to really like scrub to get things off And like I get it's in my waterline. Mm -hmm. 
So I wouldn't just buy the cleanser, but if it was part of a set and only a few dollars more, I would probably still get the set um, with the cleanser because it's not like it's horrible. Like I still feel like it kind of cleaned my skin. So if you're not, um, if you don't really use much eyeliner and that, then I don't think it's that bad. I do think it got gunk out. So you should always kind of use your serums first. So I'm going to just kind of put uh, two to three pumps on and just kind of apply to my face. If you have any open uh, cuts and things like that, it will sting like a mother. And just make sure you take it down. Give it a little bit to set in. And again, it has kind of like a medicinal herbal smell. So I don't mind it. And then going in with my oil. So it's fast absorbing light oil. So I'm just going to put it's kind of like honey texture <laughs> in that it's a little bit like a gelatin. So I just kind of put it in my hands and then I'm just pressing it in to my skin. So I definitely wouldn't use it during the day, but I think at night to have like a nice kind of intense moisture um, is fine with me. Uh, it doesn't feel too heavy on my skin, um, but I would not use the term lightweight and fast absorbing because it's still like in my skin and I've tried wiping it off like it is gonna leave you and like it could be because I've used the resurfacer too that's a little different so in the honor of being fair ooh, putting it on the back of my hands So I think using it with the resurfacer or the, your kind of serum, it is going to have it sit a little bit more on top of the skin. And then on the back of my skins, it is absorbing a little bit better. But I am happy that I picked up this kit. I definitely really like this. I think if you're not kind of using some kind of resurfacing acid kind of treatment you should it really does do a nice job for your skin especially just to kind of help even out skin tones so if you do have kind of like blemish marks it just kind of helps with it and just kind of getting off some of that dry skin and I just feel like it just makes my skin overall look better the next day that I am all for it so thanks so much for watching guys I hope you have a great day Bye.